all right guys welcome back to another video this is model rocks 321 be sure to subscribe to the channel drop a comment below today we are flying the nasa sls this is a 3d printed kit by max q flying on an sd's f15-4 let's check it out should be going any second now there you go and we are lifting off beautifully oh no we have an issue look like center of gravity center of pressure issue look at it as it hovers right there for a minute before losing all power falling to the ground and there we go no parachute i was hoping for one but no parachute happened in time so it hit the ground it hit the tip um and then ejection happened as you can see it pop right there i'm there filming on this early morning before the heat so 3d printed kit nasa sls by max q nice scale model super big perfect size i like that size and everything that's what made me buy one so i'm gonna head out and check and see what the results are um as far as issues i'm probably gonna add some news we will get this thing right it remind me of my launch of my saturn 5 when i first flew that guy um we'll discuss that in a little bit so here I am as I approach the 3D printed NASA SLS Artemis. I noticed right away that you can see that dent in the ground right there. That's where it hit and those two pieces and that's a little bit of wadding there. That is the retro rocket on the tip. Fins and everything were fine. There was really no other issues other than that. Just a little bit of dirt on the rocket itself, but we're still good to go. I'm just going to pick up that wadding. I had a parachute blanket in there, one of the Nomex kevlar blank is protecting the parachute should it had opened up you know it's a proper launch but i'm just going to get this thing worked out here i'm just looking it over just checking out the damage and reviewing everything yeah uh very nice kit f15 motor lit but it took it took off nice the clouds behind it was looking great but then it went on and went on a fritz and had its issue turned over here i'm just uh, cleaning up everything gathering that all up nice nice rocket but not sure what took place but i'm pretty sure get a little more nose up top i mean a little more nose weight up top you know we should be good so go on and enjoy the debriefing all right model rocket 321 ers you just saw the nasa sls max q kit just took a spill sort of took off nice on the f15-4 then Look like a center of gravity issue, which is easily fixed. There's a compartment up here where I can add nose weight. You can unscrew that. I'm going to get it all balanced out. I thought straight out of the box, everything was cool. Um, I did get a broken retro rocket, which is right here. So we got some broken parts here. Um, I, that's easy to fix. I'm probably line that with some kind of um, wood dowel or something. I'm going to get that reattached back up here to the, uh, to the capsule. So we should be good, but you just saw that flight um, built everything per the instructions. I'm going to go back through them and review them again. But I'm pretty sure it just needs some nose weight. It needs something, some weight up top. It's a little tail heavy. I, I thought it felt balanced. I forgot that I didn't really balance it, but we will do all that next. That kind of reminded me of my Saturn V when I had those um, 3D printed fins on the bottom. And it was really tail heavy, but this one isn't really tail heavy. It's just... Just an issue, but it took off really nice and it kind of hovered there as the thrust was running out and then it went on and fell to the ground. And um, look, so unfortunate that that was the only damage. Everything else was fine. There was no other issues. The fins, everything was good. And they hit kind of hard too. Hit kind of hard here. I'm surprised. I can see where dirt is on there on the, um, the corner of that fin, but kind of surprised at the minimal damage, which I will gladly take because I don't want, didn't want to destroy it. So we'll be back out flying this again. Um, yeah, everything is everything else other than that. That was it. Just um, you know, unfortunate, but we'll get it right. We'll get it right. So we're gonna get some. Like I said, it took off nice. The clouds behind it was looking looking pretty good going up, but uh, then it went on and just did that one big loop. Sort of sat there as the center of pressure, center of gravity was fighting each other, and it went on and fell back to the ground. But that being said, we will be back with um, with more flights of this guy. It's gonna be a nice. Nice flying bird once we all get it all worked out. So that's my rock.